Welcoming you back into Wisconsin Women. We're filming today at William Thomas Jewelers. And later in the program, we're gonna talk about what's going on here. We're gonna hear from some fabulous clients that have some great testimonials. Well, Bill's the best. We're gonna share a little bit about that. Right now though, we're gonna talk about overwhelm. And this is a topic that I personally requested because with everything going on around us in our worlds, in our daily communities, this is something that a lot of us are experiencing. We're joined by the expert now. This is Angela Keelan, and she's with Angela Keelan Coaching and Consulting. Thanks for being here. Yeah, hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you in person, <laughs> yes. oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna talk about overwhelm. First, I wanna make sure though that people know what it is that you do. So give us an overview. Yes. So I am a professional life coach. I work with busy people on helping them reach their goals. So the way we do that is we work on creating mean, meaningful change for them uh, by looking at their values, doing a check-in on my values today are, what are my strengths? What is my temperament? And what can I do to take steps toward my goals? Yeah, so yeah. really helpful things. And a lot of times we, don't stop and take the time to look at that and then also have the accountability around that. So it's really nice to have somebody guiding you. Of course, 2020 has been very challenging, a lot of overwhelm for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. What are you hearing right now? Yes, it has been. It's affected us all differently and that's what I'm hearing. Uh, people are impacted in different ways. Um, we have the most gentle natured people and we have the most steely, uh, nerved people all impacted in different ways. So uh, people are generally tired and eager for positivity. And so it creates overwhelm. They, people feel overwhelmed at times. And so it can range from financial overwhelm with all of the concern about the economy, of course, and jobs, and juggling family that a lot of people had children in the home and were working from home and juggling all of that at the same time and trying to work. And then we have the um, kind of the social and collective discord going on right now where people are eager for some meaningful positivity and meaningful change. And we're all looking for ways to get there. Um, and there seems to be what I would call a self-care deficit to some degree because we are all drawn into this new normal and trying to figure out how to operate and navigate it. Yeah, really good points. Yeah. So what kinds of things are you suggesting? Any tips for overcoming these issues? Yes. So uh, first I would recommend just checking your expectations. So the expectations of the reality of our lives now and what we, where we're headed are different than what our expectations might have been a few months ago. So make, make sure that you're being realistic with yourself and what you can accomplish right now and being kind to yourself about the fact that we're all in this same situation. We can only do what we can do. The next thing I would recommend is observing your thoughts. So your day gets crazy, you get on this merry-go-round of life and your mind is racing as fast as your day is and you come to a conclusion that uh, if you're overwhelmed, that this is too much. So by observing what is creating that feeling, you are taking um, a role that is like, oh, I am feeling uh, fearful, or I am full of anxiety, or I am just too busy. I have too much to do and not enough time. So what can I do to change it? I am telling myself my, the story in my head about how I should be and reacting in a manner that has brought, brought me to a place where I feel overwhelmed. So how can I change my story and how can I change the way I think about things? So by becoming more ob observant of how we are during the course of our day and feeling when we're feeling overwhelmed, we can start to take steps toward how we want to be. And so it's just a matter of what step can I take toward how I want to be? What can I change in my day? What can't I change? And just being real about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because it's often easy to be objective about somebody else's feelings. And you're sort of recommending that we try and do that with our own. And, yeah. and it takes the pressure off of, of having those and maybe some of the overwhelm off.
really good information, Angela, for folks who are dealing with overwhelm. We're gonna talk to you after the break a little bit about intense moments of stress. We're gonna do that when we come back, give you some tips of what you can do. We're here at William Thomas and we'll return. If you're just tuning in, we're here at William Thomas Custom Jewelers. We've been talking to Angela Keelan about stress and overcoming overwhelm. We're gonna talk now about what you can do in intense moments of stress. There are times when it, it just weighs heavier for people, that the overwhelm just feels, well, overwhelming and very dramatic. For me, sometimes it's in the middle of the night when I wake up. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend we do in those high stress moments? Yes, I. that's a great question. Uh, I recommend first starting with uh, deep breathing. It sounds so basic and we hear it a lot um, in today's day, you know, in, in the news. And But if you slow down your breath and do a four, four second count breath where you are breathing in for four seconds and breathing out, and if you do that three times, you'll be amazed at how much better you feel. Next, check in exactly with what the emotion is you're feeling. When you wake up at night and you're, you don't know why you're awake, okay, what, what is this emotion? Is it, is it worry, anxiety? Is it disappointment? Is it, what is it? Is it, I've got so much to do tomorrow? And by naming exactly what the emotion is, it gives you power and confidence to be able to address it. Okay, I've got 50 things to do tomorrow and I don't know how to get through it. One thing is we're all stronger than we think we are. So don't lose, con don't lose your confidence in yourself because you have worked so hard to get where you are and you have this new sort of paradigm we're all living in where things have shifted. So it's a matter of slowing your brain down, being aware of how your mind is getting in the way of you just simply allowing it to happen and figuring out how to deal with it in the moment. If you can focus on the moment, okay, right now, for example, if you're awake at night, I can't sleep. I am thinking about this, how can I get to sleep? And listen to yourself. It might even be journaling. I know that that's a word people don't like, but sometimes if you can take everything in your mind and get it down on paper and think about, okay, how can I work on these things so they're not keeping me up at night? What can I control and what can I let go of because I can't control it? Once you get really clear on that, you can shift your priorities and you start to realize, I'm not gonna allow that any space in my head because I can't do anything about it. And that's okay. Yeah. I can control these things and I'm gonna work on taking the steps toward um, the goals that I have. Really, really important uh, ways to look at it and, and make it not feel so heavy take kind of baby steps if you would. Yeah. I want to make sure our viewers know how to get in touch with you and you know maybe what a first step would look like if they're experiencing some of these things and would like some help. Absolutely. Well I am here to help exactly with these sorts of issues and if you are interested in making some meaningful change and want to reach some goals that you have, getting clear on where you want your life to go uh, and what your values are, what your strengths are. Where do you want to be in a year? What do you want to look back on your life and think, I did that, I did the work. You can get in touch with me, AngelaKeelan.com. Um, my phone number is there and I'd be happy to um, handle a, a, do an introductory call or a Zoom session. Um, not quite ready to meet in person yet, but I'll be there soon, so. Sounds really good. Angela Keelan, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for these pointers and really, really good topic for what we're going through right now. Thank nice you for you. having me. You too. You bet. We'll be back with more Wisconsin Women on the other side of this break. So please stick around. <laughs> 